Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the EC 30 day extended uh, forecast for today's second video. So as always on a Tuesday, we've got your extended European outlook. So we'll be looking at the uh, mean cell pressure, 500 mm of our height, temperature and precipitation uh, doublies for the next uh, 30 days. But we'll also extend out three weeks, five and six as well because the charts are there, so it might as well. So this is your 30-day slash 42-day European outlook, and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, the video you see was our 6M UK weather forecast. And it's a 10 to 14 day with all other rate features coming up, you, coming up for you later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gaz Web. Thank like, you so much to ecmwf.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, we're going to start off with the uh, week one mean seal pressure anomaly taking us through the week we're currently in, the 6th through the 13th of November. By the way, this gets us to the 18th of December, but more about that a little bit later on. So the scenario this week is that low pressure is still in control of the weather reef for much of northern or western Europe anyway, uh, with low pressure in off the Atlantic. We have got some blocking up towards Greenland, Iceland, and the far north of Scandinavia. That potentially brings some colder air into the far north and northeast of Europe. We've also got a ridge down towards Spain and uh, Portugal. That's the Azores High, of course. That's trying to bring up warmer air from the southwest. 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down shows again lots of low pressure, below average heights from the Atlantic into much of Europe. Some higher pressure down towards the far southern part of Europe and some higher pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland as well. So the temperature anomaly for the uh, for this week is actually below average for the UK and Ireland. And also up into much of Scandinavia, we see cooler than average temperature anomalies as well. Slightly cooler average in parts of Spain and uh, up into southern parts of France as well, and into the far south of Germany. Meanwhile, northern and western France, much of the low countries and the majority of Germany, actually looking at slightly average or above average. And then the warmest conditions are over on the eastern side of Europe. So um, anywhere from about Poland to the Black Sea with above average temperatures. Another warm and average week to come through much of the Balkans and down in towards Greece and Turkey, up to the Black Sea, Romania, for example, uh, coming out with uh, above our temperatures through there, of around 3 to 6 degrees, so really quite warm for the time of year, east parts of Ukraine, and into much of Russia, again, we see those uh, temperature numbers around 3 to 6 degrees above average. So, essentially, it's like a north-west, south-east split, really, with cooler weather in the north and west, and warmer weather in the south and the southeast. And as far as precipitation, is concerned, we can see where the low pressure is, definitely. So, very wet in the Atlantic and into much of Western Europe. Again, we've got northern parts of um, Spain, Portugal, most of France, into the low countries, Germany, UK, Ireland, and then extending further eastwards, about in towards southern parts of Scandinavia. Of course, it's cold up there, but the risk of some snow as that uh, wet weather pushes into the cold air particularly through uh, central parts of Sweden. Over the Baltic Sea as well, into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania, we have above average precipitation through there. And then much of Eastern Europe also coming out with above average uh, precipitation, again from the Adriatic to the Black Sea and northwards through Ukraine and southwestern parts of Russia. Again, we see above average precipitation. Uh, a lot of that could be rain, of course, because it's relatively mild air at the moment. Central Bowl of the Med is largely drier than normal, though southern parts of Italy are wetter. And then many southern and eastern parts of Spain also coming out drier than uh, average as we go through this week. Week 2 will be the 13th to the 20th of November. Still with a lot of low pressure in the Atlantic into much of the Europe as well. Higher pressure again, reaching into Spain, Portugal, southern parts of France. Perhaps reducing the blocking away to the north a little bit. 500 millibar heights for week two. Again, showing low pressure dominating from off the Atlantic, below average heights through much of Western Europe and on in central and eastern parts of Europe as well. Again, we do see signs of the Azores high reaching into Spain, Portugal, which if nothing else will start to drag up some milder air 
perhaps into western parts of Europe. Temperature anomalies look like that and we do see a warm up taking place. Though large portions of Scandinavia and Nordic regions are still uh, cold of an average as we go through next week. But the cold temperatures are retreating away a little bit. Looks as though much of Europe is warming up, including the West. So we've got Ireland, the UK, the Low Countries, Germany, France, Spain and Portugal going above average with the temperatures. And then those above average temperatures are extending over towards the eastern side of Europe as well, where of course it's been very warm throughout the autumn. But there it's like an ongoing continuation of above average temperature, but it is a uh, uh, distinct warm up that we see there for many western parts of uh, Europe as we go through next week. Into the bed. Though so most areas are above average, warmest anomalies to average after eastern parts of Spain and also down into North Africa as well. And looking really warm over on the far eastern side of Europe from Black Sea, northwards into all parts of Russia again, above average temperature coming through up there. As far as precipitation is concerned, well, again, the deluge goes on across many western parts of Europe. So once more, we see significantly above average uh, rainfall through Ireland, the UK, many parts of France, below country, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, and just into the far south of Scandinavia, into Denmark, and just the far south of uh, Norway and Sweden. To the east of that, again, above average precipitation from Poland right way over to the Black Sea, through Ukraine, up into Russia too. And even into the eastern portion of the Met, actually, above average precipitation from Greece and Turkey. Come further westwards from Italy, through the central bowl of the Med, back to Spain, Portugal, that's where we have drier conditions. The far north of Scandinavia also looking drier, so it's a very different weather type there. Uh, drier but also cold through the far far north of, uh, of Sweden and uh, also uh, far north of Norway and even the far north of Finland as well. And of course where we have the transition with these milder wet conditions down here to the cold conditions up here where we have that transition there is likely to be quite significant snowfall. Week 3 will be the 20th 27th of November. Still looking really unsettled. Look at this low pressure well and truly in the ascendancy across most parts of the uh, Atlantic anyway and into Western and uh, Northern Europe. So looks like the uh, unsettled weather carries on to the last full week of November. Again, the 500 millibar height showing the uh, wet weather into the North and the West of Europe. Again, we see the higher pressure down across these more Southern, Southeastern parts of Europe maybe. Temperature anomalies widely above average across Scandinavia. We begin to lift the temperature anomaly up. So, most areas with above average temperatures now as we come into the last full week of November. And um, precipitation wise, still looks really wet potentially through western parts of Europe. Again, focusing on Ireland, the UK, the Low Countries, France, Spain, Portugal, especially northern France, northern parts of France, uh, northern parts of Spain, Portugal, I should say. Especially through there. And then up into Scandinavia again, Denmark, into Sweden, um, possibly affects some parts of Norway and Finland too. Uh, above average precipitation uh, likely there. Southern Europe is drier, so that's where the high pressure is down across southern parts of Europe, particularly through the bed, especially the central bowl of the bed. So probably not too bad to go for some late autumn sunshine. Uh, if you want to go to the Balearic Islands or Corsica, Sardinia. Probably not too bad there, and into Italy as well. But the Greek island is still potentially looking a little bit on the unsettled side. Week 4 will be the 27th of November to the 4th of December. Low pressures weakening, but still there in the North Atlantic. Uh, otherwise, it is weakening still. Some higher pressure also around the Azores, so maybe reverting uh, or continuing like a, a westerly type flow. 500 millibar heights again bringing uh, the low pressure in from off the Atlantic into the western side of Europe. Some higher pressure down towards France, Spain, and Portugal. Temperature anomalies for week four show that the warmest temperature perhaps retreating a little bit more away to the east. So the far northwest might be telling you a bit cooler, but it's a weakening signal anyway. Most parts of Europe are still looking uh, above average for temperature anomaly there in week four. And precipitation-wise, well, it still was unsettled for the west of Europe, I have to say. The north and west, uh, Scandinavia, down into the UK, Ireland, into France, probably below countries of western Germany as well. 
with above average rainfall. Also around Greece and Turkey, some wet and average conditions through there, relatively dry again through the central bar of the red. Otherwise, we have a weakening signal here, as we always do. Further out we going. Right, that's your third today. Look, okay, done. But let's go over weeks five and six data before we go. So week five will be the fourth to the eleventh of December. So still looking like a westerly flow continues. Low pressure around Iceland. High pressure from the Azores into Spain. That keeps the wind in from off the Atlantic. I would have thought. 500 millibar heights look like that. Again, low pressure in the North Atlantic towards Greenland. High pressure from uh, Spain and the Azores ridging up into many central parts of Europe. Likely to be another mild week in most areas with above average temperatures. And lastly, precipitation, westish weather in the North Atlantic into the far north of Western Europe. And then week six will be the 11th to the 18th of December. Oh, there we go. So it's a very weak signal as we are six weeks away, but still with a hint anyway of low pressure in the Atlantic just to the west of the UK and Ireland. The 500 millibar heights for week six looking like that. So below average heights to west of the UK and Ireland, above average heights over on the eastern side of the Europe as well. Basically, it looks like low pressure dominates for the next six weeks across most parts of Europe. The warmest temperature lows are being pushed away to the extreme, uh, well, not the extreme, but pushed away to more central eastern parts of Europe. The extreme north and west looks like it's turning uh, potentially a little bit cooler there. And lastly, precipitation, if it will update, is it going to, is it going to, is it going to? It may not be going to. Are we going to update this? Yes, we are. Oh, right, that's hard in that moment. Um, <laughs> precipitation of week six, still generally looking a little bit wetter than average in the north and the west of Europe. Uh, otherwise, we have no signal. It looks very unsettled, I have to say, certainly for the rest of November, possibly even into December as well. For many central, northern, and west parts of Europe, the driest weather probably in southern parts of Europe. Um, but overall, the deluge goes on. We're going to be back. Remember to snapshot what the model is showing. So it look, could look completely different when we do the UK and Ireland focus uh, with this model on Saturday morning or when we do next week's extended European outlook on, uh, next Tuesday. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful and informative, please you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm going to be back later on with the 10 to 14 day, including all of the rig features. Come back for that then. For this week's extended European outlook, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.